Hi Fire Signs, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I really appreciate all of your love and support. In this reading, we're going to find out what is the person on your mind's next action towards you. Today is the 30th of August, 2023. Time here in Hoi An, Vietnam. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's 7.16 a.m. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. And if this video finds you, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same sign. Now let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for fire signs, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. Person on your mind right now, what is their next action towards them? Now think about the person that you like to know. Death at the bottom of the deck. So the person in your mind is maybe has a huge ego, right? With a strength here. So they're going to hold back as long as they can. Even though deep down, three of cups, that they really want to see you or be with you or be reconciled with you. But the strength being the major arcana and this being the minor with the three of cups, for me indicates that this person's ego overrides everything so they rather not get their ego hurt or uh or to to bend right they rather not bend they rather not get their ego hurt than actually taking actions to towards you and pursuing a reconciliation with you or pursuing uh, a date with you or pursuing you in general okay that's what definitely what I'm seeing here. Because Ace of Wands is in reverse. This also, you know, fire energy is an action taking element. So I would say with Ace of Wands in reverse, they they and they're not taking actions towards you because again, strength here. They just they just try to control themselves not to do anything with you. But deep down, they really want to see you, yeah? And then King of Pentacles, this person could be a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, could be a Libra, Gemini, Chris, Nine of Swords, Leo, again, can be any sign, Aries, Sagittarius, okay? So this person, King of Pentacles is not the king of actions either. He's sitting down, right? And he's sitting down comfortably as you can see right here so the next actions towards you is just i'm gonna sit down and i'm just gonna hold back i'm gonna wait if fire signs see my worth and my value they will take actions towards me instead <laughs> so okay what are you gonna do right unless roles are being reversed here i don't know it could be look at the ten of wands here in reverse they're not putting in any effort. They're not. They, when it's in reverse, they're throwing these ten, 10 wands down. They're like, I'm not going to carry these wands. I'm not going to carry them and, you know, and take it to wherever it needs to go. That means they're not taking any actions towards you. They don't want the work involved. They don't want their ego to be bruised. And, you know, this is someone with a very strong, strong personality, you know, and egoistic as well. They may feel like they are the king of pentacles where, you know, I, I don't need fire signs. Um, I have everything that I need. I know my worth. I know my value. And um, if they want to come to me, they'll come to me. If not, forget it. So this is what definitely what I'm seeing here. Judgment here is in my voice. Even though actually fire signs deep down, they want to because look, three of cups is here, right? But they just don't think it's a good judgment call for them to take actions towards you or do something about this. And we've got the Nine of Swords. 
could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Maybe they're also angry with you or that you may be angry with them. And swords indicates communication. If they do take actions towards you where they're going to say something to you, might be a little bit mean, okay? Because not a sword, it's definitely somebody hostile. And then we've got the world right here. I do sense them um, doing the best that they can to close this chapter with you and try to move on. Because again, fire signs, either they're angry with you and they're like, with the death here, like, this is done, forget it, I'm, I'm upset with fire signs, and I'm not gonna bend, they possibly believe, believe that you did them wrong, okay, again, bear in mind it could go vice versa, and the two swords here is in one verse, so it's decided, they've decided to not talk to you, or not take actions towards you, they're not gonna bend again, but deep down, see the three cups, they do want to see you, so you're dealing with someone with a huge ego, right? They do want to come together. I feel they do want to come together or be reunited again or see you again or to be at harmony with you, make peace with you. But the ego is getting in the way. So the strength here, right? Strong, strong character, strong personality. Um... To a point, it can be a little bit too much, overwhelming, <laughs> too extreme. And then Ten of Cups here is in reverse. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, they feel like they've been wronged by you. They've been wronged by you. They feel like maybe you caused the disharmony, right? They're blaming you. So they're not going to take actions towards you. They're not going to beg you. They're not going to... If anything, they're going to say something a bit mean to you. And then Queen of Swords here is in reverse, see? They're holding grudges towards you. Again, Libra, Gemini, Chris. Seven of Cups in reverse. Seven of Pentacles. They're just going to wait and observe. I do see them, you know, interested to see you again or be reconciled with you. But they're not going to budge. They're not going to budge. They've already decided. Santa cups him up first. Because they resent you for everything that has happened between the two of you. They resent you for the ending. The chariot in my verse. See, they're not moving. They're stuck. They're like, I'm staying where I'm at right now. At least for the moment. Okay, fire signs. I don't know because people change and energy is fluid. So it might change. But right now, this moment, um, in the very near future, I don't see them taking actions towards you. If there's any actions at all, they will say something a little bit hostile towards you or mean. Um, and if they do run into you, they will try to be like just as neutral as possible. They will hold back with the strength. Um, but actually, I feel like they're angry with you, okay? I think they're angry with you. So, and they have a huge ego, so they're not going to say anything to you unless the Knight of Swords, if really there's confrontation, then they might be mean to you. They might say something mean to you, okay? But other than that, I just feel like maybe deep down they're just really upset with you and they don't really want to be the one who to apologize, to make amends. They don't want to be the one that, they don't want to be the bigger person because deep down, they feel like they didn't do anything wrong and you did everything wrong. Hmm. Let's pull out a few of these romance angels here. And the person in your mind can be anybody, okay? So apply it however you like. Playfulness, children. Maybe this person is a little bit childish. <laughs> 
stay optimistic attraction honeymoon okay so if this is a romantic connection then i do sense them you see the attraction here indicates that they're still interested but they could be kind of immature i still feel it's the ego i still feel that it is the ego And their ego also tells them that you will bend, like you will come and talk to them, that you will take actions towards them. That's what I'm seeing here because of this Stay Optimistic card right here. I, again, I do sense them like these cards here also. Um, they're, they're pointing towards them actually wanting to spend time with you, be with you and all of that good stuff. But the ego again is in a way, all right? Fire signs, Leo, Aries, Sash, this is your reading. I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Feel free to subscribe to my other channel. It's called Chelsea Vlogs. It's my travel channel. And for those of you who like to be notified every time when I post your videos, and every time when I go live, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button. Take care. Bye.